I did this just before I left and I wanted to just have it in the mix. Maybe a hot take here, maybe not, but I actually think that Joker is going to suck. If not suck, it's not going to be on the same level as the first one. And I have legitimate reasons. Let me explain. It's not that I don't think that the first one wasn't good. I actually thought the first one was pretty good. If maybe a little bit contrived in certain ways of almost how like a studio would feel like it, you want it to be like against the apartheid and whatnot. And it's always like a kind of a rich thing when there's a, a movie being made that's like bah, to the hierarchy when it's being made by a multi-billion dollar studio. But regardless, that movie was accidental lightning in a bottle. If you look at half of the fucking stories for that movie, with Joaquin Phoenix constantly walking off set, background actors being held on train sets for so long that they had to piss in fucking bottles, the multitude of scenes that were thrown out, and then the ever more multiple two to scenes being made up on the fucking spot. The scene where Joaquin is dancing in the bathroom was quite literally made up on the fucking spot. And that is the crux, the fucking soul of the movie. That is a full destiny change for his character, for Arthur Fleck. And that came up in fucking wackadoo rando time. And then when you look at the interviews that Todd Phillips did afterwards, he makes it sound like it was all fucking planned in certain sections. It's like, no, it's fucking not, bro. You filmed the Hangover movies. You filmed funny comedies, and you just so happened to be one of those directors that got caught in that, oh, I'm a comedic director, but I can also do serious horror, maybe. This was a very short-lived time period. Fucking David Gordon Green would make one good Halloween movie and then proceed to be the shit stain of horror directors for the next remainder of his career. Todd just doesn't have the ability to make this happen again. I guarantee you, somehow, the budget from the first one, which was only 60, 50, 60, 70 million, has ballooned to nearly 200 fucking million for this one. Yes, I can understand that probably Joaquin and Lady Gaga took a huge chunk of change, but there's no reason for this movie to be that much fucking money. That's just another whole thing about studios just going way too hard with budgets nowadays and not seeing the returns because, well, no fucking shit when you do shit like this. I just think that this movie is going to be a kind of a collection of hubris from everyone. Joaquin's ego and just strange mannerisms, Lady Gaga's ego, Todd Phillips' ego. I think that everyone's going to make if not maybe a okay-ish movie, are a disappointing movie. The fact that they're dipping into the musical aspect and they're really like kind of ooh about it. Even fucking Phoenix said that there wasn't really a need for a sequel, but WB wanted one so fucking bad because of how much money the first one made. It's paranormal activity, baby. When you got a movie that can make a fucking return that is... 10 times its budget, you're going to want to see another one. You're going to want to recreate that lightning in a bottle. But the problem is, it is called lightning in a bottle for a reason. It does not happen all the time. And I really, really feel like that that's going to be the case. If this movie makes a billion, I guarantee you they'll make another one, even if it's not good. Those are just my thoughts. I wanted to say that before it came out. You guys can have your opinions and you can think I'm wrong, absolutely warranted. If you think I'm wrong, tell me in the comments why you think I'm wrong. There's so much evidence to prove that this movie is kind of an apocalypse now sort of situation. That movie is pretty much as good as it is because of how disastrous the entire production was. Having that be such a crux for its development is what made Joker so good. And they've been trying to make little thingies here and there about like, oh, Joaquin was late or Joaquin walked off set in this one. They're, they're, they're trying to build up some for this one because they know that that was what was driving attention the last time. What we now, I don't think it's going to be good. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near good the first one. And I doubt I will give it a positive review. That is my theory right now. I will happily be proven wrong. I would love to be proven wrong and like that anytime I go into a movie that I think is going to be a shit stain and sometimes it has happened. Anyways guys, I hope you're enjoying the videos while I've been gone. Uh, just wanted to do this one because I hey, might as well throw it into the algorithm while I'm 
you know, away and posting more videos than I usually do in a year. And then the movie is also coming out soon too. So anyways, those are my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like, and if you're interested in more subscribe, give me your thoughts. I am curious to see what you guys think. Uh, the movie will be out while I'm in Ireland. So maybe I might go and see it. Apparently Salem's Lot will be out in theaters in the UK. So I would much rather see that because that looks like a good movie to see. If you haven't seen the trailer for it, go and watch it. I just watch it right now. Anyways, that's all from me, guys. I will see you guys when I come back.